Now, HS2, the proposed high-speed rail route from Manchester to London, could potentially damage two of the region's most popular National Trust properties. Well, that's the claim being made by the Trust after HS2 released detailed information on the impact of the route through Cheshire. There'll be a series of public consultations now on the plans, as Eunice Muller reports. Denham Massey attracts an estimated 800,000 visitors, and it's easy to see why. But the wider National Trust estate covers over 1,200 hectares. What's planned on its edges isn't so welcome. The line itself is going to come in at us over these fields here, across this field here, up over the Bridgewater Canal, and then head off on a big viaduct over the Manchester Ship Canal. The National Trust has joined concerns about the impact of the proposed route. The obvious impacts about noise and the visual impact, so those are the two obvious ones that people might think of, but we're also concerned about the impact on the, the park from a sound perspective, on our local residents and our tenant farmers who need to continue with their livelihoods, and also on the impact of habitats and, and wildlife in the area and what will happen to those as well. HS2 will link London to the Midlands and the North. The western leg of Phase 2 will extend from Crewe to Manchester. The government-owned company behind the scheme has launched two consultations on its design, construction and operation. By the time the route is completed in 2033, the plan suggests more than 1,000 homes and businesses will be demolished, creating a huge amount of landfill waste. More than half the route will also go over embankments and viaducts. And of course, there will be disruption on sites of scientific interest and ancient woodland. We are absolutely committed to engaging with the communities. I've worked on this project for a number of years now. And over those uh, years, I've seen and it's we've demonstrated that we do change our plans in response to people's responses. Um, we've changed our plans on phase one, on phase 2A, and we've changed our plans on phase 2B as a result of people's feedback. Um, so we do respond and we've demonstrated that over the years. The £55 billion project has attracted criticism over its cost, but also the delays and complications. The government says it will bring benefits to the economy in the north and create thousands of jobs. The campaigners opposed to it disagree. Clearly the budget for HS2 is under some sort of pressure and we, we, we've felt for a long time that the route is the wrong route. Um, and. You know, the, the impact of the working draft environmental statement are just horrendous, quite honestly. Um, worse than anyone could ever have imagined. The consultations will run until the end of December. HS2 Limited wants to hear from anyone affected and says it will listen. Yuna Smuller, BBC Northwest Tonight.